A general procedure is a block of Visual Basic code designed to execute a specific task. There are a number of advantages to using general procedures. For example, when several different event procedures need to execute the same code, putting that code in a general procedure makes your program more efficient and easier to maintain. Also, general procedures facilitate code reuse. When you break your code statements down to logical groupings based on tasks, the code can easily be reused in the future. In this exercise, we'll take a look at creating general procedures. Let's begin by starting our application. It calculates the area of a circle. The code for calculating the area of the circle is in the click event of the command button. We'll move this code to a new subprocedure and call it from the click event. First, we need to create the new general procedure. A dialog box displays asking for a procedure name. How about get area? We also need to choose the type of procedure we want to create. This will be a sub procedure. And finally, we'll choose the procedure scope. Like variables, procedures have scope. Private procedures can only be called from within the same former module. Public procedures can be called from any former module in the project. Notice that Visual Basic has created the procedure for us. Visual Basic creates it in the open code module. Selecting General from the object box lists all of the associated procedures in the procedure box. Next, we'll cut this code from the click event and paste it into the get area sub procedure. Now, to call this procedure from the click event, we simply type the name of the procedure. We can also proceed the procedure name with the call keyword. Doing so makes it a little easier to read and understand the code. As you can see, the functionality of the program is the same, except the calculations now are made in the get area sub procedure. This procedure works fine, but it's still dependent on a couple of things. One is a text box called diameter. We can remove the dependency by passing the diameter as an argument to the get area sub procedure. To pass an argument to a procedure, we simply enter the name of the argument and a data type. In this case, diameter is double. Diameter is now a valid variable in this procedure, just as if we'd used the dim statement to create it. Before continuing, we also need to change the code in this procedure. Now we're ready to modify the click event to pass the diameter to the procedure. When passing arguments to procedures, it's important to pass the correct data type. When passing the text property of a text box, Visual Basic will do the conversion for you automatically, but it's still a good idea to do it explicitly. Let's run the program again. Notice that it runs as it did before. There's still one more dependency in this procedure, the label that displays the result. To eliminate this dependency, we'll change this subprocedure to a function procedure. A function procedure is like a subprocedure, except it can pass a value back to the calling procedure. To change this sub to a function, we simply change the word sub to function. Notice that Visual Basic automatically changes the end sub statement to an end function statement. Making this a function has made get area a valid variable inside the procedure, so we need to choose a data type. We'll make it string. We need to make one more change in this procedure. Rather than putting the area right into the label, we'll pass it back to the calling procedure. To pass a value back, we simply use the procedure name. Since we told Visual Basic to make this procedure pass back a string, we'll leave the rest of this line the same. Now that we've created a function, we'll get a value back, so we need to put that value somewhere. In this example, it makes the most sense to put it right in the area label. Notice that the syntax for using a function is a little different than the syntax for a sub. Arguments that we pass to a function need to be enclosed in parentheses. When we run the application, we still get the same result. The difference is that we've created a generic procedure that we can use elsewhere in our application without having to duplicate this code. Also, we can take this procedure and add it to a module of common procedures for future use.